Here. 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 Mark Cam. Here. Lynn Would you stand for the Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Bring us to item C. Is we have a uh, presentation of a letter of accommodation by Chief Gibson to more resident Mercedes Bristow. Chief. Thank you, Vice Mayor. Uh, Vice Mayor, Council. Excuse me. Make it a little easier. Uh, in police work, we get to recognize heroic actions uh, on a routine basis. Every day, police officers step into dangerous situations that are unstable and uh, somewhat out of control. Uh, tonight, is, it is with great excitement that I get to recognize members of our community as heroes. I would like to call up before the Vice Mayor and Council, Ms. Mercedes Bristow and Mr. Mark Taylor. city of Moore that the police department absolutely recognizes and that our community identifies with is the statement, together we are more strong. Uh, the actions of these two members of our community embody this statement and remind me of Sir Robert Peel's words. Uh, known as the father of modern policing from 1829, uh, Sir Robert Peel has nine principles on policing. And his seventh has always been my favorite. And I'm going to read that to you. <coughs> Principle seven says, the police, from 1829, the police are to maintain at all times a relationship with the public that gives reality to the historic tradition that the police are the public and the public are the police. The police, being only members of the public, who are paid to give full-time attention to the duties which are incumbent upon every citizen in the interest of community welfare and existence. This 1829 statement falls right in line with our motto of together we are more strong. So now I would like to recognize Ms. Bristow and Mr. Taylor for their actions in October. We're going to present them certificates. These certificates, the Moore Police Department letter of commendation to uh, Ms. Mercedes Bristow and Mr. Mark Taylor. This letter of commendation is presented by the Chief of Police in recognition of your remarkable actions on October 24, 2020. At approximately 2.45, you witnessed a woman in crisis positioned up on the top of Northwest 12th Street overpass poised to potentially take a fatal leap into a busy interstate. Despite the woman, be, the woman being a stranger to you, you intervened and contacted her, clinging to her, preventing a tragedy. Your calm presence and reassuring voice soothed the woman's anxiety, especially once uniformed officers arrived. Thanks to your compassion and selflessness, the woman was safely brought down and able to receive appropriate mental health resources. A part of what makes our community here and more so special is having people like you in it. Thank you. In recognition of your outstanding service to a person in need and to the city of Moore, I am happy to present you with this letter of commendation.
service that day. Thank you for saving the lives that day. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you guys very much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. You said it well, Chief. Thank you both. Can I say one quick thing? Absolutely. Absolutely. I just wanted to say that I think we were both very comforted when the when the police showed up and we could see right away, at least I could, oh, that yes, they were highly trained and knew what to do in that situation where I know in in our circumstances and kind of the culture right now there's a pushback against policing and, and that they might not be uh, the most sympathetic and I I did not experience that. The first officer on the scene right away, she said her name was Officer Cooper, but then she, then she immediately said her first name. She knew in that situation she needed to become a person rather than just a, a, a authority figure. And uh, then she went right through the steps of suicide um, questioning and knew she was trained. She knew what she was doing. And so we thank you for supporting the police department to have people highly trained like that. So, um, regular citizens like us can help out, but then call people who know what's really going to happen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's always encouraging to hear such positive news. Um, thank you again. Uh, I do see we have some special visitors in our crowd tonight. Leadership Moore is here. And Adam Webb also serves, is serving in this class. Adam, would you like to say a yeah, I just want to some of them? Thank Leadership More for being here. It's a great program. I encourage everyone to take a look at that through our Chamber of Commerce if you want to learn about our city and ways to be involved. Um, I'm lucky enough to get, meet some fantastic people along the way. So uh, thank you guys for being here tonight at the meeting. I did hear the conversation. Our city manager, Brooks Mitchell, was in the 2018 class, and he told me that his was much better than the 2020 yeah. class. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all have a ways to go. <laughs> and that would bring us to our consent docket. Item A is receive and approve the minutes of the regular city council meeting held November 2nd, 2020. Receive the minutes of the regular planning commission meeting held September 9th, 2020. Receive the minutes of the regular Parks Board meeting held October 6, 2020. Accept a 10-foot temporary construction easement and a 17-foot permanent utility easement from Patrick and Deanna Myers for construction of a sanitary sewer force main. Item E is accept a temporary workspace easement from the Dotson Living Trust, Jake Tullis, Jeff Tullis, Betty Jane Tullis, and Jeannie Zachary for construction of the Southeast Lift Station Improvements. Item F, accept a permanent utility easement from Michael R. Odell and Lori G. Pratt Odell, uh, parcel 16.1 for construction and maintenance of the Southeast 4th Street Railroad underpass project. And item G is approve and ratify claims and expenditures for FY 2020-2021 in the amount of $1,955,000 one hundred fifty nine dollars and forty seven cents motion to approve second okay we've had a motion and a second would you call for the vote please Danielle McKenzie. yes jason blair yes melissa Hunt. yes 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 adam webb yes mark Hand. yes item three <clears throat> consider adopting resolution number nine seven four twenty calling for and setting the dates for the municipal elections for the year 2021 as provided in the city charter, specifying the officers to be elected, providing for the qualifications of candidates, designating which offices will be filed by ward, providing for nonpartisan election, providing for residency requirements, directing that a copy of said resolution be forwarded to the Secretary of Cleveland County Election Board as required by state law, and providing that a copy of resolution resolution be published in a newspaper of general circulation in the city. Mayor and Council, this item just calls for the election for the seats that will expire in 2021 in wards 1, 2, and 3. Make a motion to approve. Second. Okay, we've had a motion and a second. Would you call for the vote, please? Jason Blair? Yes. Melissa Hunt? Yes. Ruby Williams? Yes. Adam Webb? Yes. Danielle McKenzie? Yes. Mark Hanson? Yes. Motion passes. Item number four, 
consider approval of FY 2021 budget supplement to budget additional funds and related expenses in the special revenue fund finance. Uh, Vice Mayor and Council, this agenda item is a companion to agenda item number six for the police department. Uh, we are requesting approval to budget additional funds to be received from Norman Regional Hospital and to budget the associated purchase of software to upgrade our dispatch system. This will allow the city to provide 911 and non-emergency dispatch services to Norman Regional Hospital's ambulance service. I'd be glad to answer any questions you might have. And just so I'm clear, right now, they, the ambulance MSTAT is dispatched from another location other than our dispatch center? Uh, yes, sir. Chief may be able to answer. They have their own. Yes, Mr. Mayor, the uh, current contract that Norman Regional Hospital has is with LifeNet, and so we receive the 911 call, and we send the fire department, and then we transfer that call to LifeNet, who's a third party that they contract through, who then in turn dispatches the ambulance service. What you'll be seeing before you tonight will take that part out of it, so when the 911 call comes into our communication center, we will dispatch both fire and ambulance, so we'll have the a dramatic increase in our response. Absolutely. Great. That's <laughs> very good. Thank you, go. Chief. Motion to approve. Second. We've had a motion and a second. Call for the vote, please. Melissa Hunt? Yes. Louis Williams? Yes. Adam West? Yes. Daniel McKenzie? Yes. Mark Hamm? Yes. Motion passes. Item number five is consider approval of an annual contract with Norman Regional Hospital Authority doing business as MSTAT. For the city to provide emergency medical 911 and non-emergency dispatch services in exchange for said services, MSTAT will pay the city approximately $23,422.25 per calendar quarter. Uh, Mayor and Council, we recommend approval on this item. Uh, actually, Captain Dudley, who is in the crowd with uh, leadership more negotiated with Norman Regional Hospital, this particular uh, item is for salary and benefits for two communications officers that will uh, be helping the increased workload, which will segue off of the uh, software purchase. Make a motion to approve. Second. We've had a motion and a second. Uh, and we've got plenty of space in dispatch for two more? Uh, absolutely, uh, Mayor. We, we are have a beautiful facility, as you well know, and it was built uh, with expansion in mind. And so uh, we could actually uh, even with this addition, we could still handle one to two more additional radio positions okay. and up to five more call taker positions okay. if we built out to future expansion. So this will not impact anything facilities wise. Okay, great. Thank you. We had a motion and a second. Would you call the vote, please. Louis Williams? Yes. Adam West? Yes. Danielle McKenzie? Yes. Jason Blair? Yes. Melissa Hunt? Yes. Mark Hamm? Yes. Item carries. Thank you. Item number six, consider authorizing the purchase of emergency medical dispatch software in the amount of $91,155 from Priority Dispatch as a sole source provider to be reimbursed by Norman Regional Hospital Authority doing business as MSTAT in the first quarter of 2021. Mayor and Council, we recommend approval. This correlates back to item four uh, that is a software purchase that will be reimbursed by Motion to approve. Second. All right. We had a motion and a second. No other discussion. Would you call for the vote? Adam West? Yes. Mark. Daniel McKenzie? Yes. Jason Blair? Yes. Melissa Hunt? Yes. Louis Williams? Yes. Mark Hunt. Yes. Item carries. Item number seven. Consider authorizing the purchase of 10 ticket riders from Tyler Technologies doing business as Brazos in the amount of $25,842 as a sole source provider. Mayor and Council, I didn't see that one on there, sorry. Uh, <laughs> this is just a standard uh, pre-budgeted purchase to maintain our inventory. Uh, this is a piece of technology uh, that you know, obviously comes to a service life and this is just going to replace 10 of our existing uh, infrastructure and inventory, so we would recommend approval. Just quickly while you're here, and since related to traffic, how's the traffic unit working? So as I explained um, to, to groups earlier, Mayor, it's working out tremendously. Um, and what we like to reiterate anytime we talk about the traffic unit 
is that it is not a revenue generator or source of revenue for the city. It is strictly focused on traffic safety, uh, reducing accidents, and increasing compliance with, with, with traffic safety laws. Um, there can sometimes be perceptions out there that cities seek citations through, uh, for revenue purposes. That could be nothing further from the truth here in the city of Moore. It is strictly in response to uh, residents' concerns of traffic safety and to increase traffic safety in the city of Moore. It's working out uh, spectacularly and it also uh, frees up uh, district cars to take higher priority calls. Okay, thank you very much. So back, to, back to the item seven. How many of those ticket writers <coughs> do, do we currently have? We have about 30. Captain Dudley, we have 30? 40. 40. 40. 40. Okay, very good. Thank you. Motion to approve. Second. All right, we had a motion and a second. A call for the vote, please. Danielle McKenzie? Yes. Jason Blair? Yes. Melissa Hunt? Yes. Louis Williams? Yes. Adam Webb? Yes. Mark Camp? Yes. Item carries. Item number eight is consider, consider acceptance of a <clears throat> quote from um, Decra Light in the amount of $18,981.06 for the purchase of a 24 foot Sequoia collection Christmas tree and decoration package for the station. Vice Mayor and Council, this is for a Christmas tree that will be and enhancing the decoration package that is already there. We do not have a Christmas tree. This is an artificial tree. It's 24 foot height. And right now it will be placed on the berm to the south of the amphitheater to, for picture taking and various other holiday activities. Thank you for doing this. I know the citizens will enjoy this for several years to come reusing Many this. years. It's yeah. artificial, so it will last. We'll, uh, the decorations are kept very carefully stored uh, until needed, and then they're brought out and they look new. You know, uh, they're kept very well. A new spot for your selfies. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, that's what. Yeah. Yes, it'll be perfect. For Make selfies. a motion to approve. Second. So, is this a budgeted item? I don't believe it is. This is just part of the. Uh, there's a, there's a line item for. Uh, things like this in the parks okay. budget. So this is, it wasn't identified specifically, right. but these are for things that come up. As long as we've got a money appropriated for it, thank you. Yes. We had a motion, did we have a second? Yeah. Okay. And a second? Yeah. Call for the vote, please. Jason Blair? Yes. Melissa Hunt? Yes. Louis Williams? Yes. Adam Webb? Yes. Daniel McKenzie? Yes. Mark Hanson? Yes. Item carries. Bring us to item nine. Consider adopting resolution number 97520 authorizing the city of Moore to submit an application to the Association of Central Oklahoma Governments, ACOG, for the Clean Air Grant and Public S Sector Fleets, Capital Planning and Resilience. Uh, Vice Mayor and Council, uh, the city has received several Clean Air Grants from ACOG over the past few years. This grant application would fund the cost of converting a new grapple truck to CNG. Grapple trucks are used for the big trash pickups. And the total amount of the grant request is $32,755. This application is due this Friday on the 20th, and we should receive notification of award in January of 2021. And the grapple truck is a budgeted item this year. Okay. Thank Motion. you. Any, no questions? Motion to approve. Second. I have a motion and a second. Call for the vote, please. Jason Blair? Yes. Melissa Hunt? Yes. Louis Williams? Yes. Adam Webb? Yes. Daniel yes. Mark Yes. I'm curious. Item 10. Consider approval of a contract with Meshack and Associates for the completion of a letter of map revision for the Little River Park and drainage channel. Uh, Vice Mayor and Council, currently the site for the CDBGDR funded project, the curve, is shown to be in the floodplain according to the current FEMA flood maps. The channel and pond improvements completed on the south end of Little River Park removed this site from the floodplain. The completion and approval of the letter of map re revision will update the FEMA maps to show this site now out of the floodplain. A request for qualifications was solicited on October 9th and two responses were submitted on October 23rd. Staff reviewed and scored the two responses and Meshack and Associates received the highest score. The fee for the completion of a letter of map revision will not exceed $38,417.90. It will be funded with CDBGDR funds, and we recommend approval. Okay. Motion to approve. 
We had a motion and a second. second. That's all right. And uh, I'll call for the vote, please. Melissa Hunt? Yes. Louie Williams? Yes. Adam Webb? Yes. Danielle McKenzie? Yes. Jason Blair? Yes. Mark Cam? Yes. Item carries. Item number 11. Consider approval of a contract with SJ Innovations LLC doing business as computer system designers to provide security officers for the station recreation and aquatic facility. Vice Mayor and Council, this was the uh, company that uh, you approved the hourly rate for at the last meeting in October, and we've uh, now since finalized the contract. It's been reviewed by the Parks Department and City Attorney and recommended approval. I was, I was reading through that, and I do have just one quick question. I've noticed in the contract that it has spe specified officers, Cleveland certified officers from the city of Moore and Cleveland County. Is there, are we, we're confident that within those two agencies there will be enough? I mean, should we, there are other qualified officers out of Oklahoma City and other departments. Is there a reason that we're limiting it to those two agencies? Well, I'm, I'm sure that uh, others could be used if need be, but it, when in the discussion, in the discussion with going this direction, uh, it was made very clear that we need to be sure that uh, there are available officers to be able to man those shifts, and, and that we not have any uh, any shifts unmanned. So uh, I feel confident that we have enough people to do okay. this. Okay. All right. Thank you. Any, any other questions? No. Make a motion to approve. Oh, Sorry. Second. Motion. Uh, we've had a motion and a second. To call for the vote, please. Billy Williams. Yes. Adam Webb. Yes. Daniel McKenzie. Yes. Jason Blair. <clears throat> yes. Melissa Hunt. Yes. Mark Cannon. Yes. Item carries. Item number twelve. Consider approval of a lot split located at one zero zero five Southwest Fourth Street. Application by Revival for Christ Club. Vice Mayor and Council, <clears throat> uh, the property at 1005 Southwest 4th Street currently has two structures on the same lot. Uh, there's the church building um, on the east portion and then there's a secondary building that um, is used as a gym uh, to the west of that structure. Uh, the applicant wants to split the secondary structure from the church property. Uh, the property is zone C3, and both of the new lots, if approved, do meet all of the C3 requirements. Uh, staff recommends approval of this application. If you have any questions, I'd be happy to answer them. So they plan to sell the auxiliary building? Uh, that's what my understanding yeah. is. Make a motion to approve. Second. Okay, we've had a motion and a second. Call for the vote, please. Adam Webb? Yes. Danielle McKenzie? Yes. yes. Jason Blair? Yes. Melissa Hunt? Yes. Louie Williams? Yes. Mark Camp? Yes. Item carries. Thank you. Now we will recess the City Council meeting and convene in the, the Moore Public Works Authority meeting. Item number 13 is the consent docket. Receive and approve the minutes of the regular Moore Public Works Authority meeting held November 2nd, 2020. Approve and ratify claims and expenditures for FY 2020-2021 in the amount of $760,492.37. Make a motion we approve. Second. We had a motion and a second. Call for the vote, please. Danielle McKenzie? Yes. Jason Blair? Yes. Melissa Hunt? Yes. Louie Williams? Yes. Adam Webb? Yes. Mark Camp? Yes. Item carries. Item number 14, consider awarding a contract to BRB Contractors Inc. in the amount of six million eight hundred six thousand dollars base bid scheduled for construction of the Southeast Lift Station improvements, and authorize the Chairman and Secretary to execute the contract. Mr. Trustee and Chair or Chairman and Trustees, um, on October twenty seventh, we opened bids for the. Uh, more Southeast lift station improvements. We received bids from five contractors. Those bids range from uh, a low bid of $6,806,000 to a high bid of $10,627,113. Um, 
BRB contractors of Topeka, Kansas is the low responsive bidder uh, for the base bid, as I said, for $6,806,000, which includes a channel monster. Basically, that's a, a grinder that helps grind up any uh, heavier material that comes through and uh, provides a longer life for your pumps. Uh, BRB Contractors is an experienced contractor and is fully capable of completing the lift station project. They had previously done a $19 million project with this, the same engineer that we had uh, used for design of the project and uh, it was a very successful project that they had with them. Uh, staff recommends that the Moore Public Works Authority award the Southeast Lift Station Improvements Project uh, to BRB Contractors Incorporated for the base bid amount of six million eight hundred six thousand which does include the channel monster uh, and authorize the chairman and secretary to execute the agreement uh, the contract time is pro is uh, 400 calendar days uh, that's without any weather days we anticipate maybe 15 percent on weather days which would be approximately 15 months for construction uh, that we're estimating the funding source for the project i believe comes from a 2014 geo bond that is paying back a loan from the water resources, or we, uh, a low interest rate from, from the Oklahoma, low interest loan from the Oklahoma Water Resources Board. Is it, is it normal for the bids to vary that much on a contract like this? Uh, it can, just, especially during these times uh, with the COVID. Um, uh, we, we would, uh, I would anticipate maybe a, a 20% maybe max, uh, and uh, this was a little larger. Um, you know, the high, the, the high bid of 10 million six um, was uh, probably 10% higher than the next next highest bid. Okay. Make motion Second. Okay, a motion and a second. Um, would you call for the vote, please? Jason Blair? Yes. Melissa Hunt? Yes. Louis yes. Adam West? Yes. Daniel McKenzie? Yes. Mark? Yes. I'm carried. Thank you. And just FYI, Leadership Moore, if you've never been to the sanitary plant, <laughs> it's pretty fascinating. It's a $50 million facility. I uh, encourage you to go out there and check it out. Just, just go before lunch. <laughs> and, uh, but it's pretty, it's pretty interesting how all of that works. Okay, thank you. We will recess the Moore Public Works Authority meeting and convene the Moore Risk Management meeting. Item 15 is the consent docket. Receive and approve the minutes of the regular Moore Risk Management meeting held November 2nd, 2020. Approve and ratify the claims and expenditures for FY 2020-2021 in the amount of $215,270.84. Motion to approve. Second. And we had a motion and a second. Would you call the vote, please. Danielle McKenzie? Yes. Jason Blair? Yes. Melissa Hunt? Yes. Louis Williams? Yes. Adam Webb? Yes. Mark Kim? Yes. Item carries. Now we will recess the Moore Risk Management meeting and convene the Moore Economic Development Authority meeting. Vanessa, would you call the roll, please? Danielle McKenzie? Here. Jason Blair? Here. Melissa Hunt? Here. Lynn Lewis? Adam Webb? Here. 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 Item 17 is consent docket. Item A is receive and approve the minutes of the regular Moore Economic Development Authority meeting held October 19th, 2020. Motion to approve. Second. We have motion and second. It's consent docket. Please call the roll. Daniel McKenzie? Yes. Jason Blair? Yes. Melissa Hunt? Yes. Adam Webb? Yes. Mark Hamm? Yes. Yes, item passes. At this time, we'll recess the more Economic Development Authority meeting and reconvene the City Council meeting. Okay, thank you. Bring us to item number 18, new business. Are there any citizens here tonight that would like to speak about anything? We didn't have anyone sign in. Seeing none, take us to item B. Items from the City Council or trustees? I would like to say that uh, the debris removal crew was in my neighborhood today, and that is a well-oiled mm -hmm. machine. They are doing an excellent job. So. 
Yeah, they've picked up my neighborhood as well. I've got so. a lot of compliments, so they must yeah. be doing great. <laughs> Actually. Well, they, they just got enough people that they're controlling traffic, and, mm -hmm. and it's it's flowing really well. Uh, I'm, I was impressed. So. It's rare to get that many compliments on debris cleanup. <laughs> so yeah, they must be doing good. Any anybody else? No. Item C. It's Mr. C. Mr. City Manager. Thank you. Vice Mayor and Council, uh, just a few things. One, I'd like to thank the residents for their support on November 3rd for Propositions 1 and 2, the renewal of our quarter cent sales tax, another four years. This will help uh, with the station renovation and the expansion of the public works facility and also being able to use the hotel motel tax for parks maintenance. So greatly appreciate that. Thank you again. The final CARES Act submittal has been accepted for $1,437,000, so we should uh, hopefully have those funds uh, you know, before too long. I, I know uh, a lot of submittals there right at the deadline. Um, the Moore Urban Renewal Authority at their last meeting approved a contract with an appraiser, so the appraisal of the Cleveland Heights area will begin and uh, will take some time, but then uh, we'll see how that comes along and then report back to council on that. And then uh, uh, we contacted the Cleveland County Health Department uh, regarding the potential Breakfast with Santa event. Uh, sent you the email right before the council meeting, so I'm not sure if you had a chance to look at it yet, but we will, uh, uh, we will meet on it tomorrow and then, uh, and then give you our recommendation. So that's all I have. Wonderful, thank you very much. And I too would just thank the citizens and, uh, for their confidence in this council and the city uh, leadership. We work really hard to serve the people well in our community. Item number 19, adjournment. So moved. Second. We've had a motion and a second. Would you call the vote, please? Jason Blair? Yes. Melissa Yes. Louis Yes. 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 Yes, we're adjourned. Thank you for coming tonight. We have a football game. Good to see you guys. <laughs>